Our month-long look at mental health issues focuses on post-traumatic stress disorders today. It's estimated that more than 3 million people are diagnosed with it in the U.S. each year. First responders and veterans are the most likely to suffer from that mental health disease. Fox 26's Randy Wallace reports. When you're going through it, you don't see that light. You don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. You see, like, this thing's going to kill me. Anyone who witnesses a traumatic event will likely have post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD. For most people, symptoms like nightmares or depression go away on their own within weeks or months after the traumatic event. I almost lost my job because I didn't know how to properly deal with the symptoms I was having because I didn't know what I had. Houston police officer Matthew Marin says he suffered from the most common symptoms of PTSD. I was drinking a lot. I was actually drinking until I passed out. I had a lot of um, night terrors, you know, uh, waking up, sweats, screaming. In law enforcement, you typically deal with people when they're at their worst points in their life. You know, nobody calls 911 for a birthday party to celebrate. It's easy to see why first responders and veterans are susceptible to PTSD. Marin and Joseph Sewell are both law enforcement and military. Over 20 years with the Army, 12 years in law enforcement, um, you know, you're taught to be the strong person um, and to internalize a lot. Marin says talking with peer groups is beneficial. When you're sitting across from another police officer that's been through the exact same kind of situation that you've been through, that's been through um, trying to self-medicate just like you did, um, and then having them tell you, hey, look at my life now, and they're a lot better. We rescued the dogs so that the dogs can then rescue the veterans. While medication yeah. can help treat PTSD, some sufferers get better with the help of trained service dogs. <laughs> we adopt rescue and shelter dogs and train them to be service dogs for veterans and first responders suffering with PTSD. And we do all of that at no charge to the veteran. But we have veterans that have been able to wean themselves off of their medication because their dogs allow them to be more relaxed in everyday life. <laughs> this is Independence Rose. She is my world and my life and my lifeline. Independence Post. She helps me walk. She helps me get out in the everyday world in which I never would have done before. How does she help you? Baxter is very in tune to, uh, to, to, my, to my mood swings and a lot of the things that I, like whenever we go or we go sh shopping, he is very he helpful in, he in, in he helping me reach certain things or you know, keeps me from falling over <laughs> at certain times. About two or three years ago, um, when I started having reoccurring nightmares, Um, Drake would actually wake me up uh, in the middle of the night. I have multiple friends that have killed themselves, both military and on the police department. Matthew Marin wrote a book about PTSD called Silent Screams. He also has a nonprofit called BattleBud Project Inc. There's a lot of great nonprofits out there, like The Rescue for PTSD. We've got links for you on our website. Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.